Travis. Do you believe in aliens? Hey. Yes. Do you have any stories about aliens? Yes, I do. Sick. All right. Have hey, a good one. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to the Silly Goofy podcast. I have to send a very important message. Nothing is real. Go ahead and talk. I will talk. Um So, last episode we did we talked about ghosts, which is pretty cool. Um we sort of, well, not really touched on aliens, but we started talking about, like, just, like, scary things that happened and, uh, you know, stuff like that. But we brought up the subject of uh, aliens because aliens are interesting. Um, yeah, what are you sending? If you hear a knock on the door, it's from my colleagues because what you were talking about right now is putting all of our lives in danger. Because there is something out there that everyone at home... No, I, I need to stop. You've said too much. I've said too much. There are things that are not explainable. Cut, cut, cut! We are not alone. I repeat, we are not alone. Crap, they're here. Hide. There's no one here. That was close. We made it out. You believe in aliens, Travis? Yes, I do. Cool. Let me tell Red you. Red just appears on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Time to put that guy down. No. Of course, I believe in aliens. How long have you believed in aliens? <laughs> oh, this is supposed <laughs> to be, be serious. This for is once supposed to be. A se- I was about to do a Jesse Ventura impression. Do it. Okay. No. All right, hold on. I'll ask again. No, let's. So, Travis, how long have you believed in aliens? Ever since I was the governor of Minnesota. I was debriefed at the White House. That's all you were going to do was just that? I'm a Navy SEAL. (laughs) No, okay, I've always... I don't know enough about Jesse Ventura to tell if that was accurate or not, but let us know if it was. I'll show you some videos. Okay, please He's very fun. (laughs) He's awesome. But, uh... Yes, I believe in aliens. Okay. I always have. Always? I always will. Like you came out of the womb, like they exist. Your first words were UFO. Well, I guess letters, but my first word was what reptilian. Was your, no, was your what was your actual first word? Do you remember? Totally off topic, but I'm curious now. Yeah, my first word was uh, fundraiser, silent guardians. That's three words. Yeah, it was just, they all came out. Oh, okay. My first word was ikuk. Ooh. Cookie backwards. I don't ikuk. know what my first word was. <laughs> I wanted to keep that going. Apparently it was daddy or papa oh. or something like that. I mean, that's cute. That's yeah. that's more wholesome than ikuk. Because I'm like, fucking idiot, baby. I can't even read yet. <laughs> that's not, not a saying, word. I was born with idiot dyslexia, apparently. No, I don't know if that's, that wouldn't be dyslexia, would it? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Is there uh, a word actually, for reading things backwards? Because I know be dyslexia dis- is like the letters Usually, get jumbled, yeah. right? Yeah. So that could I also don't know be a lot dyslexia. about it. I apologize if I, if I seem ignorant. I, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know if there's a word for reading things backwards or not. But yeah, apparently my first word was ikuk because it was cookie backwards on the cookie jar. Well, I don't know. I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on aliens? I... Personally, I think it's bullshit. No, I'm kidding. Um, I believe wow. in aliens. <clears throat> I feel like... I know it's like a joke to make this argument, but like... <clears throat> oh my god, camera quality, please. Um, I, I feel like the universe is too big for us to be the only... Hmm. W- like, the only life form, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. And also, too, the government was just like, hey, aliens are real. And the government would never lie to yeah. us. <laughs> what do you think their agenda was to say that aliens are real? I don't know. Probably to fucking distract us from something else. I don't know. Oh, that's oh. much better quality. Darn, oh, I was God. hoping my face was still hidden because I'm about to drop some truth. You drop some truth? Area uh, it's a bit of a lag, but that's okay. Area 51, that's where they keep them, the bodies. 
do you do you think they sing bodies by drowning pool? That's where dropping it was off written. the bodies at Area Fifty One. They just have that playing on repeat. That's actually Area Fifty One is where uh, bodies was written. Oh, ah! what happened was <laughs> good. Yes, I'm hidden. I have to tell you something. <laughs> I was uh, about to do that interview where they black out the face. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is this is better. Our there might be a little bit of a delay between my <laughs> voice and the actual <laughs> sound, but it's fine. You know, I had a friend in high school who claimed that he got abducted by aliens. Really? Yeah, he would always him and I. It could have been a dream. <laughs> Just because we would always talk about aliens, we were obsessed. We were always reading the books and watching mm-hmm. the movies. And one day he was like, "I got abducted by aliens. Check this out." And he showed me like this weird red dot on his body. That is weird. He was like, yeah, I think they they stuck something into that spot, and now that I have this mark. That's weird. Yeah. See, that's, like, kind of believable. Yeah, it was, you know what I mean? it was freaky, because <laughs> I, you know, because it wasn't a pimple or something. It really yeah. looked like he it's got... It's not one of those things yeah. that you can, like, easily identify yeah. as, like, oh, it could <laughs> probably be this. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the heck happened to him. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, I've never had anything like that specifically happen, <clears throat> but um, that just reminds me of... Uh, Never mind. I had something. I lost it. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> See, I think you forgot because the men in black might have just flashed you right there. Hey, a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> <Eek>. <laughs> no, I, just, <laughs> I had something good. I was just going to say, fuck, what were we talking I know we're talking about aliens and stuff, but. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's what it was. <clears throat> So you said you had a friend who was who yep. I was pretty sure they were abducted by aliens. That's what he I uh, it's not the same, but it reminded me. It's not even that important. I just have too much pride to let it go. Um, I had a friend when I was in high school who swore up and down that uh, <coughs> he was a vampire or a werewolf and oh. that he killed a guy. Okay, yeah. I'm like, bud, you're 15. Yep. You have three pubes now. You did not kill a person. <laughs> I've had a few people tell me that in high school. Like, yeah, and I like, why? I, like, what's the point? Or they'd, they'd be like, don't ask me if I've ever killed someone. I it's can't like, answer that if question. I could sit down and eat my lunch next And I'm just like, all right, I won't ask you, because obviously you didn't. You're not smart enough to get away with murder. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can't even zip up your pants. How did you commit a murder? Yeah. No, I, I knew, know, saying I knew like someone that. in high school claimed he was a werewolf. And Is his girlfriend... The, not even girlfriend. Person he hooked up with. She was very adamant that he was a oh werewolf. God. Okay, we're not gonna say the name, but I just asked. It was the s- we were thinking of the yeah. same person. <laughs> yeah, because uh, one of the people he was hooking up with, she was like, "I know he's a werewolf, like his body hair." And I was like, All right, "He's the hairy per." Some people are hairy, but yeah. yeah, no. And the one person he was hooking up with was just like, "I know he's a werewolf because I pressed a piece of silver, like a silver cross." Against his skin, and when I lifted it up, there was a red mark showing that he is allergic to silver. Eat my ass. <laughs> I was just like, that's are you so sure that's stupid. not just a mark from you pressing against yeah, his it's skin? Like, are you sure it's not just a mark <laughs> from the indentation of you pressing something into his skin? Yeah, so. <clears throat> but that was proof for her, and apparently she saw him transform. Sort of. Holy like, shit, not dude. a full transformation. She was like, it was a full moon. He didn't realize it, and his hair started growing. <laughs> It was a full moon, and he just, like, he was acting so strange. What did he do? He just, like, stayed up an hour longer than normal before he went to bed for school the next day. Crazy. It's just a lot of weird things. That's so dumb. But that that person also claimed to be a psychic. Oh, yeah, this person, yeah. We we can't say who it is, obviously, because we're not going to dox anybody or anything like that. Spirits, yeah. um, They have a lot of... uh, I'm going to say stories. I'm going to be polite and say stories. <laughs> tall tales. No, but... Uh, They've told us some stuff, and we're just like, how are you a person? I remember one night when I was walking with them, they were telling me about how they can they can see spirits, and they know about people just by looking at them, and they were trying to tell me stuff about my past that they can tell because they're psychic. And they were, somehow so, demons got brought up, because at that time I was very interested in uh, paranormal stuff, including <coughs> demons. Do you believe in demons? You think? Do you think demons are real? Yes. Real. Okay. But um, but I was watching this paranormal show where the lead investigator he was apparently being followed by a specific crown prince of hell. Hmm. 
Hmm. And and the, it was funny because the show the show did kind of freak me out because it would always flash the letters of the demon's name. He's like, I don't dare say it out loud because then it kind of invokes. Did it. they do that in editing? Yeah. Oh. They would just they would just show the letters flash across the screen. He's like, this is the demon that I encountered years ago that started me on this journey. It was it was really cool. But I was talking to her and I was just like, yeah, there's this demon that. Because I, I saw the letters flash across the screen, hmm. and just based on the letters, I figured out what demon it was. Oh, okay. Because I kind of put it together, and I was like, yeah, I mean, apparently you're not supposed to say its name, otherwise it invokes it. I had no idea. She was like, just say the name. What is it? And then I said it. It's Belial, by the way. B-E-L-I-A-L. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why is my floor suddenly on fire? <laughs> Why did a, hole hole? I... a hole open up with a demon hand coming out of it? <laughs> I kid you not. The second I said that, she turned around. It was just like he's here. Oh I see. I only god. only I can see him because I'm a psychic. Oh my god! The, I didn't even know about this story, but yeah. that's so fucking. Stupid. She's like, he's like, following I don't wanna, us. Okay, I just need to preface. <laughs> I don't want to make fun of anybody for like their beliefs or anything like that. Like, if you believe that, then sure, you're not hurting anybody. Whatever, that's fine. I'm behind it. But knowing this person, that is the dumbest fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and, I'm not annoyed that they were like, I'm a psychic. He's here. Only I can see him. I'm annoyed because this person said stuff like this all the time. Yeah. Was, but they believed it so hard and so intensely. Like, they believed their own bullshit. Yep. Yeah, it was just... Anyway, sorry. One thing after another. I, I didn't fall. I wasn't... Yeah. The whole time I was just like, really? It appeared. And only you can see him. Yeah. Cool. She's like, yes, it's a giant dark figure right behind us. We need to keep walking or he'll catch Imagine us. Imagine if it was like a real thing to her and it's just like she actually did see it but yeah. it's just like severe mental untreated mental yeah. illness. <laughs> that wouldn't be funny. I'm gonna have to edit this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be interesting but um, <clears throat> yeah, I have encountered a few people like that. Only I can see it. Yeah. There's a ghost in the room. Only I can see it. Like, I mean, maybe it is real to them. You know, who yeah. knows? We've seen enough movies to be like, hey, like they can see this thing. Doesn't I guess mean, so. Just because you can doesn't mean it's not real. So A lot of it's snake oil. They're snake oil salesmen. Yeah. Like the hoopla. <laughs> but anyway, um, back to aliens. That's what this whole thing started as. Us talking about aliens. Some people think Travis aliens. has a good alien story, but we're going to get into that. Some people think aliens are demons. Really? I have, I might have heard that. I've heard a few people say that. I remember when I was at the camp that we went to. Delta? Yeah. Okay. I was having a heated, spirited debate with someone about aliens because he was like, they're not real. And I was like, I don't know. There's a lot of unexplainable things. And, yeah. you know, the universe is pretty big. Maybe there are aliens out there, even if we haven't encountered them. I feel like I remember you talking to this person. He was a really cool guy. I liked him, but he was just telling me that he thinks that the aliens are kind of like sat- satanic, um, no, well, sort of hallucinations. Oh, yeah, okay. some, just a stray people away from God, pretty much. Like okay. they're like the yeah, lights. For, the, so yeah. for context, Travis and I went to Bible camp. Mm-hmm. Um, like when we were like te- like early teens, six, sixteen, fifteen, Fi- like yeah, mid teens. Yeah, 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 yep. um, yeah. But but there are people that think that about aliens that yeah. they're kind of like these apparitions, so like almost like a hallucination or or maybe they're just straight up demons that appear as aliens to make you skeptical of the Yeah. And I mean that there's going to be yeah. that with like yeah. I feel like every you know people are always going to try to like rationalize the unknown, I guess. So Yeah. If so. that helps them kind of uh, kind of understand it and feel better then whatever. There's still a lot of unknowns about it, so it's not like they're like spreading misinformation. Right. So. Yeah, it does. who knows. This but, is uh, us being neutral <laughs> about <laughs> I understood his perspective, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't agree. Yeah, um, which is <coughs> that happens. But, but yeah. yeah, so aliens are spooky. I they only are. have. I'm gonna say my story first because it's not as exciting. Because mm-hmm. yours is pretty fucking wild. Yeah. Um. So the only, technically, the only two alien stories I have. First one is just dumb and funny. Um, I was younger. I had watched Signs, which is still one of my favorite movies. It's a really good um, movie. We should talk about that movie. We should. Yeah. We'll do a whole, we'll do a whole episode <laughs> reviewing it. Um, but I just watched Signs, and I was, like, obsessed with it. But I was also terrified because aliens are scary. And I remember my mom asked me to uh, – I had just watched it, and my mom got home with, like, groceries or whatever. And she asked me if I could go out and get them 
and I kept making excuses not to. And then eventually she was just like, why don't you, why won't you get the fucking groceries? You know, whatever. And I straight up was like, because I don't want to go outside and have aliens read my mind. And she got really mad at me. (laughs) (laughs) Which, obviously looking back now, I totally get it. Because that's asinine. That's an asinine way of thinking. (laughs) But I was also like, I was like 12, maybe 13. No, I was definitely like 12 at the oldest, I think. Yeah. But yeah. And I remember, like, going up to get groceries, like, running up the stairs as quickly as I possibly could and then mm-hmm. coming back down. But, no, um, the other one, uh, like, a year and a half ago, I was on my way to my old job. And I remember going to work, and it was early in the morning. It was, like, 6 a.m., like, 5.30, 6 a.m. Like, it was bright. And we were driving in, like, back, ro- uh, back roads, backwoods kind of thing, like a back road. And... Up in the distance, I see an orb, which I just assumed was like a, like, you know, something, whatever. But I looked at it, and <clears throat> for whatever reason, it felt like it was, like, matching, like, whenever I would go somewhere, it also went that same way kind of thing, which is hard to explain, I guess. But it also, it was so far away, but it still was, like, so crystal clear, even, like, as far away as it was in the sky, it still looked like it still had the cl- the clear definition of something that was like right here, and it was really weird. Um, and then I like, I know this is a cliche, but like we were driving, and then we went through like a thing of trees, or like went past some trees that obscured the view, and then when we came back, it was gone. Which isn't that crazy, but that was the only story that I have. Wow, Travis is is much better. I've seen some UFOs. Yeah. I don't know if it picked that up. It but, uh, did. It definitely did. Your, <laughs> your microphone is up all the way. Oh. So a second ago when you were like scooching on the air mattress, it definitely picked up that <laughs> noise. Well. But that's okay. Yeah. It's also some UFOs. I know the big story that you keep beating around the bush to get to it's is when you were like. It's too scary to talk about. There was a, lo- there was a lot of stuff that happened in that story. I have to ease my way into it. Yeah, ease your way into it. One of the stories was when I was playing Pokemon Go. I Pokemon Go was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the uh, park around midnight in my town, my hometown, I should say. It was a small rural town. Pokemon Go was pretty big at the time, so I was just playing it constantly. I wasted a lot of time playing it, but I got a lot of exercise, so I it's not too bad. I recently downloaded Pokemon Go again. Yeah. I downloaded it like two months ago. It's just going to come off. Yeah. I downloaded it like two months ago, and I've played it twice. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be very fun. It's just yeah. they kept adding more Pokemon to it, of course, because there's, there's a seemingly be. endless amount. Yeah. And eventually I was just like, I can't do this anymore. It's too overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was Team Instinct. That's important to the story. It is. Yellow I team. team I, was. <laughs> I chose Team Instinct because they had the fewest players. So it was an uphill battle. Okay. Well, I was at the park. There was a Snorlax I was trying to catch. And then a uh, UFO appeared. Wow, crazy <laughs> story. Just, no, um, I was going to say, I feel like I vaguely remember you telling <laughs> no, me I was, about this No, I one. was at the park on the playground trying to catch the Snorlax when I saw a gigantic fireball in the sky. Re- it was huge. It looked really close to... Like, within our atmosphere. I thought it, was, it wasn't it was a shooting star. It was way too close for that. And it looked like it landed in the mountains. And I just watched that happen. I was like, holy crap, that shooting star was really close. A little too close. And then all of a sudden, this search helicopter flew over me in the direction of the mountain where it looked like it crashed. That's right. And I was still going to play. I was like, whatever, that's just a coincidence. And then, <laughs> Nothing will deter yeah. me from catching this Snorlax. And then a second search helicopter flew over. Oh, my God. And at that point, I was like, all right, I'm going to start walking home. <laughs> like, I had never caught that Snorlax. Not that day. So the fireball in the sky wasn't enough to deter you? No. The second, or the first helicopter, you're like, eh, probably whatever, you know? No, because I was... The second helicopter, the third thing, you're like, all right, now it's getting weird. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the first, the fireball, I was like, whatever, it's a shooting star, it just looked big. Mm-hmm. 
The first helicopter, I was like, whatever, there's a chopper out tonight. The second one, I was like, you know, oh, there there's yeah. definitely something else. And then a third one appeared on my way home. I'm sorry for yawning so much. I had a giant searchlight, and it was just going through town. I remember with that. With the searchlight, okay. yeah. I feel like I saw you post a status about that. I did. Because I was just like, did anybody else like see a weird fireball tonight and search copters? And people commented like, yeah, <laughs> we also saw it. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it was, was going to be more like, did no, you say, we saw yeah. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Delete this. No. But um, yeah, F- so other FBI people... wants to know your location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other people noticed, so it wasn't just me. So mm. I, don't, I don't know. Nothing was in the newspaper about it. So I don't know what the official story was, but there were three helicopters with their wild. bright beaming lights. And the third one was just going through town. It wasn't even going to the mountain. It was just going through town, like, searching. Maybe, like, seeing if anything, like, weird yeah. escaped or whatever. I don't know what that could be. I don't know. That was weird. At one point, it was over me. And I was like, crap, am I, like... There he is. No. Yeah. <laughs> am I a part of this now? But yeah. That was one of the, heli- the yeah, helicopter stories. And a UFO, I guess. Yeah. That was one. And then I had another. The big one. When I was at a camp. Not the same camp that we went to. This was, was another it? camp. It was a different one, right? A different one. Okay. Black Lake, I think. Sure. It's one of the many camps. While I was there, right after I almost drowned, me and my friend, we were staying at a cabin with his parents. We were. S- I was 16. We were just inside playing video games because it was a cabin with uh, electricity, and he brought his PlayStation. So we were just doing that because we almost drowned the day before. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. That was a yeah, that's a fun story. But <clears throat> so we were just like, screw it, we're gonna stay inside and play video games. We're done going outside. But then his the dad comes. Has brought me nothing yeah. to pain. That's why I like video games. Yeah, his dad just I'll came see. in and he was like, "Guys, you're gonna have to come outside and look at this." We're just like, what? He's like, boys, come outside. There's something going on. We're just like, what are you talking about? We're, what are you cooking? Is there a barbecue? Guys, you're going to need to come out and see. He was just being very, he was being very vague. He wasn't telling us what it was. So we were like, whatever, you know, pause. Went outside and there's this gigantic orb in the sky, orange, but it wasn't the sun because I could see the sun. It was like, it was weird. It was, it almost looked like a solar eclipse. And there was this big orange orb floating to the left of the sun. And everyone else was outside. Everyone. There were people with binoculars and cameras. They're all looking at that orb. And I was just like, what the heck is that? I was thinking, I was like, maybe that's like Jupiter or something. I know sometimes. Sometimes it's visible. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, maybe that's what it was. But it was like hovering in a circular motion. Oh, okay. And it looked like it was kind of pulsating too. Like it was expanding and shrinking a little bit. And then it just kind of shrunk into itself and disappeared. And I was like, that was very weird. Then it reappeared to the right. And it did the same motion. Jesus. And everyone's kind of freaking out like, holy crap. And then it did it a, thir- a second time. And then it reappeared a third time up. So it started to the left, like right. It was like thing? that, yeah. Around the sun? No, next just to the like sun. A, oh, just yeah. like, okay. So it didn't form a triangle like, bop, 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 like this is the sun. It wasn't anything like no. that. It was just kind of, okay. Yeah, it's just. Even still. This time it appeared higher, and everyone's just like, what the heck is going on? Including me, I was just like, and I wish I had a camera at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know if I owned a smartphone at that point. I think I just had How a old were you? 16. I know I got a smartphone around that time, but I don't think I... Did you have I, a flip phone back then? I had a flip I had phone. I like a razor. Yeah, it was just... I didn't even use it, Yeah, honestly. but And then it disappeared again. And then it didn't reappear, and everyone was just like, "What are we doing?" Weirded what out. Yeah, now? they were just like, "What is going on? What was that?" And some guy came out, and he was just like, "That was clearly heat lightning, everyone. <laughs> that was heat lightning. Don't panic." Clearly a plant. I know. I was just yeah. like, "Oh, who's the CIA operative?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird how he just came out and immediately. Was just like, "It was heat lightning. Don't panic." We're just like, okay. "Nobody be alarmed." Yeah. I was just. I wanted Where to. Did you come from, sir? <laughs> I really wanted to ask him, like, what do you mean that was heat lightning? I've seen heat lightning. Yeah, there's no way that an orange orb yeah. that disappears three times and appears <laughs> in different places can be misconstrued as heat lightning. Yeah, it was heat very... Light- heat lightning is just lightning. 
that isn't okay. So what's the difference between lightning and heat lightning? I guess. Well, as I don't, far I'm as curious now. I don't even know officially. It's just when I see heat lightning, there's usually no sound. It just kind of yeah. like flashes. That's what I. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It just. Either way, I'm it wasn't ninety eight percent sure that that wasn't heat lightning. There's no way because I even looked it up when I got home when I had access to a computer. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> does heat lightning cause orbs? <laughs> No, not Does that I could see. Does lightning orb disappear? Especially like Ask that, geez. like a circular orb that yeah. was there for a couple minutes before disappearing and reappearing. That mm. makes no sense. Yeah. So those are my UFO stories. Yeah, I don't really have any. So yeah. I mainly just wanted you to tell that one. Yeah, that was a good one. Because I remember you told that story about that, and then like the night before was when you and your friend like yep. almost drowned in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> there was a storm. Like... Too long didn't read Virgin. Him and his friend were out in a like in a boat, I think, like a canoe yeah, or a well, paddleboat or something like that. Well, I was out on my own. Well, um, we'll tell that story for our near death episode. <laughs> I don't think I have any near death experiences. <laughs> don't worry, I got you covered. <laughs> I got plenty of near death experiences for both of us. All right. Well, that's probably going to be a good place to stop then. This is yep. a quick episode. Wow, this potato quality. I love it. Yep. A whopping 10 frames a second. Uh, don't forget to edit out that name. I will. I will forget. Oh. John, why don't you tell yeah. them the story of when uh, the Earth got in- invaded by aliens. Remember that? When the Earth got invaded by aliens? Yeah, you remember you were telling me this. It's crazy. Oh, Come on, well, remember when you were... When they it's invaded? Like when I was staying at my like brother's house, right? Yeah. And then they invaded... And they wiped out. Yeah, the, it's crazy. Every what he said. Like That's they crazy. T- they took out the government. I don't know what bit you're doing right they now. They blew up the White House. Dude, I haven't seen Independence Day in <laughs> fucking years. I don't remember the plot of this. No, movie. no, not that invasion. Remember when the tripods came out of the ground? Oh, the, the World Worlds. Do alien trivia quick. Fire off some alien trivia at me real quick. Let's see if I can remember. Remember when your daughter was saying there's someone on the roof? And then you looked out. Signs, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Such a good movie. I remember when you got abducted by aliens and the therapist was trying to help you figure out what was happening and you talked about seeing an owl's face. And then you started Come levitating on. on camera. Fuck, have I seen this remember movie? Remember that? I, don't, I actually don't think so. Is it Life? No, it's The or... Fourth Kind. Oh, I haven't seen The Fourth oh. Kind. Whoopsie. I probably should. <clears throat> remember when you were on a spaceship Traveling around, and then this giant bug-like creature just started killing your crewmates one by one. Alien! <laughs> <laughs> and then remember later on, when you find a new crew, and you're trying to warn them about those things, but now there's many of them, including a queen. Alien 2? Aliens. Three? Oh, aliens. Is that Alien 2? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. And remember when you went to that prison planet, and those aliens are are there, and they're killing everyone? It's Alien 3. <laughs> I was going to be like, oh, Rick and Morty, season three, episode four, or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't really know a lot about alien movies, but... Well, remember when you were on the planet Tatooine, and you, you know, Ben Kenobi came? Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, before this gets too out of hand, I'm going to end it here, but thank you everyone for watching. Okay. Um, Maybe I'll have Travis back on, who knows? If he wants to be on, probably we'll not. Let him. But if he doesn't, nope. then fuck him. I want nothing to do with this. Good. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.